Coronavirus cannot put us in high risk for severe diseases. How? Okay, this is Dr. Darwin Suniega Lahot, your nutritional and lifestyle medicine specialist at Dr. Lahot Wellness, Cagayan de Oro City. If you want to know more, please click subscribe and like my page. Okay, if you want to know um, current um, information and also what we can give to you as our uh, subscribers in this YouTube channel okay please like and subscribe now if what do you think okay what do you think how coronavirus cannot put us in a high risk okay let us not forget that it is about what when you have um, chronic illnesses okay about heart problem respiratory problem okay you are at high risk or at risk in developing severe cases okay because we um, get that information because of the what published in the daily mail that a chinese you no know, 100 years old 103 years old um, got infected but uh, got recovered after the quarantine okay without because of no underlying conditions Okay, 103 years old, imagine. So meaning, um, there is a high possibility that you can recover from getting infections. So do not, what, panic. Okay, let um, this um, public health emergency give you, what, another perspective. Okay, now recently, um, our government here in the Philippines, okay, with uh, President Rodrigo Duterte, have said, okay, has said that uh, um, there is a community quarantine. Okay, we don't know um, the whole um, procedure on how that community quarantine can give impact to us, but we can learn something from that. Okay. Uh, the lesson number one is banning the the sea, you know, um, air and land travel. Okay, there is an exemption of that. I don't know, but there is. Okay, uh, I hope. And um, that's number one. Okay, second is um, uh, making the um, military police you no know, do its work for a checkpoint or they are the one who will implement because they are law enforcers and also with the head you no know, the leadership of the Department of Health okay and that is very important at this moment okay and your cooperation my cooperation for this uh, community quarantine you no know, is very important Third is what we can learn the lesson from, from this is the social distancing. Okay, social distance, I mean. So what we can learn from that, number one, is when they assign the, their, the soldiers, the police, okay, we can learn from that by activating, okay, recruiting your immune system in our body, meaning conducting raid, recruiting, activating, identifying, Okay, identifying your uh, immune system today. Okay, all the nine parts of the immune system, the white blood cells, the skin, the bowel, it should be what active. Okay, there is a cell signaling that they can communicate. How? How? We can learn it from the, what? Community quarantine about banning, what? The air, land, and sea. Okay, we can learn it from what? Do not eat food. Banning, <laughs> you need to ban no, food, your food. If you um, are used to eat food that is high in sugar, high in oil, and uh, salty, today let us ban. Meaning fasting. Fasting muna tayo for that kind of food that will hamper, okay, that will hurt your immune system according to the clinical journal or journal nutrition that highly processed food okay can hurt your immune system okay any food that can overload your blood and can uh, slower your circulatory system okay and also the, uh, the action of your immune system 
So, you need to adapt that uh, lesson, okay? Activating your immune system, but not just your white blood cells, okay? But also activating like the, the mucus lining, your skin, your bowel movement, okay? Your elimination channel. That is very important, okay? That immune system, that nine part of immune system needs to eat healthy food. That's the reason why, because you need to eat healthy food. But what's the major vital reasons, okay? But because that healthy food might or may give that um, uh, immune system, then the parts of the immune system be activated just like what assigning police, military, health officials and other officials should function. So meaning, let your body, okay, the organs in your body do its work. Functioning, it's functioning. And it will be that uh, vital organs keep, will only be functioning if, okay, you eat healthy food. Okay, balanced diet is very important. Like National Nutrition Council today is promoting the three nutrition tips. Tips like uh, the pinggang pinoy, okay. We need to balance our food. Okay, you need, you, as you see, the blessings of this coronavirus. In the other perspective, you can eat healthy food today. Because for a longer period of time, you're still done for you, you know, to eat food. There is a blessings so that we can, it can give us rest. Okay? It can allow us to stay home. And also, it will also allow the earth, you know, the world, to take risks. Imagine no flying, there is ban in the sky, in the land and sea. So the good effect there is, I'm not promoting that, that the virus will stay longer, but what happened in a few days, okay, uh, there is good benefits for the earth to take, you know, to have rest. Okay? Then the social distancing. So today, um, social distancing or distance is also have a lesson, okay? So have a lesson because sometimes you are already too much for socialization and we forget what is important to us, okay? Like for example, our sometimes we forget to pray, okay? We miss our prayer because of too much socialization. We we miss our obligations because of too much socialization and we miss a priority you know, in our life. So we miss uh, too much um, expenditure and we were not able to control it and that is why we are in, in pain. So I think there is a lesson in community quarantine and I'm so thankful with that. No? that it was uh, implemented or announced and it will be implemented this uh, March 15, I think it's tomorrow, March 15, no, March 15 until April 14 or 15 and uh, enjoy uh, staying at home, okay, having fun, or have fun and learn what you will do for the next, okay, for the next a uh, month like after April 15 what will you do okay what preparation you should do now, the world is changing and uh, we need also to change not our our character which is good if that is good okay but we need to revise or maybe raise the version of you and me so I think that's all for this um, uh, they and coronavirus okay you learn that coronavirus cannot put us at risk in se for severe cases how because of what okay if we will work i uh, know to address the chronic illnesses if we have okay so today go to your doctor okay monitor your lipid profile and uh Okay, have good news for the next episode. Okay, please don't forget to subscribe because we will be learning how to dismantle you know, this coronavirus based on the revelation of a chemistry professor published in the Manila Bulletin. And let's talk about it. Okay, so see you. Inshallah, alhamdulillah for this uh, wonderful day. And 
wonderful wisdom given to us. Inshallah, kita tayo. No, and see you soon.